episode four of the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast. My name is Dr. David Ayers, and today's episode is Hearing Protection and the Noise Reduction Rating. Uh, these are those numbers that you see on the side. A lot of people say if it says 30, awesome, it's going to bring it down 30 decibels. Let's clear, clear up a couple of misperceptions out there. So the first thing that we all know uh, as safety professionals, hearing loss begins at, at 85 decibels, hearing protection required at 90. Uh, we were, we're not going to cover things like the uh, hearing conservation program, but like all things, you have to go back and sample the decibel levels to really understand the threshold. Um, what do you have out there? So I've, I've been to a lot of places where um, it was only at 70 decibels, but everybody said it was just kind of that irritating grating threshold that's out there. So sometimes it isn't even 85, but it's just kind of that irritating background noise that we we have out there too. So like all things, we have to go out there and actually sample what do you even have to even have a starting point to look at making things better. At all times, you want to try and engineer out the issue and not have people wear hearing protection. Uh, people are flawed. They forget to put it in. They don't wear it right. Uh, they try and use reusable earplugs for years on end and you get the dirt, the oils, and everything else. So they do lose efficiency also. Um, so when we look at things like uh, hearing protection, we commonly think of earplugs and earmuffs out there. Um, and on the uh, slide on your right uh, for, for people who are hearing this on audio and, and can't actually see this. What we're talking about is the, uh, uh, the sound level and the uh, um, amount of time that you can be exposed to it. We all know that at 90 dBA you can be exposed for eight hours. When we kind of think about the log scale of noise and we think about 100 um, dBA, you can then be exposed to two hours. So let's look at the noise uh, at the noise reduction rating that you'll find on the side of the earplugs and the earmuffs and all that stuff. So this is going to be uh, the rating applied to the hearing protection that is inserted into a formula. That's really important to understand the formula to understand the true hearing protection effectiveness. So the formula is going to be whatever the noise reduction rating is minus seven divided by two. So uh, let's take a little practical example. And uh, for people who are watching, it's it's over at a concrete plant and we're measuring the noise on a tail pulley. It's at 100 decibels. The person was wearing ear earmuffs rated at 33 noise reduction rating. So then we look at our formula, 33 minus 7 divided by 2 equals 13. We then take 100 minus 13 to equal 87 decibels. Uh, I have talked with safety professionals who think that the noise reduction rating is the amount of decibels, not part of a formula and all that stuff. So it's really important to understand the formula and not look on, on the side and be fooled by 33 means it's going to bring it down 33 decibels. Got to be part of the formula. So. That's it for today's real fast safety short. We're going to talk um, in this episode, we talked about hearing protection and that noise reduction rating. So make sure you go back, understand the formula. And that's great that we understand the formula and earplugs and earmuffs and all that, but always engineer out the hazards. So I can't stress enough. I am a flawed human i do things wrong by accident all the time out there so we want to do everything we can so that people who are also flawed who work at our workplace that we know and we love are protected against hearing damage thank you so much for joining me today and that wraps up episode four of the occupational safety leadership podcast